Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with this week's edition of Top 5 PC Game Deal. So let's just get right into this with number 5. And I always like to start things off with the Humble Bundle if you didn't check out yesterday's video. I'll quickly go over it again. They've got a new bundle as well as the Telltale Bundle from last week. This week's bundle is very good. It's the Humble Saints Row Bundle. More of a Humble Deep Silver Bundle. It's not just Saints Row games. It's a lot of games from Deep Silver. The bottom tier of pay $1 or more get to Risen 3, Titan Lords, Deadlight, Director's Cut, Home front as well as Saints Row 2. Homefront and Saints Row 2, those two games are pretty good, and paying a dollar and getting those two games is really solid. Risen 3, I've heard, is kind of a mediocre RPG, and Deadlight is an alright game too. So the dollar tier, very good. Homefront was one of those underrated gems that I really enjoyed. At this point in 2017, you're only getting it to play the campaign mode, but the campaign's really good. The only thing is, it is really short. You can complete it in like three to four hours, maybe a little bit longer if you play on a harder difficulty, but you get the idea. Saints Row 2 will obviously take a a little bit longer. Those two games, like I said, Homefront, Saints Row 2, really solid for a dollar. The beat the average right now is $5.11. Yesterday, it was a little bit lower, has gone up since then, but the beat the average will get you Saints Row the third, Saints Row Gat Out of Hell, Mighty Number no. 9, which isn't the best game, Killer is Dead, Nightmare Edition, and more will be added to the beat the average in six days and one hour. If you get the beat the average right now, don't worry, in six days, you'll get those games for free. They'll just be added to your bundle. Saints Row the third is a really great game, as is Killer is Dead, Mighty number nine not the best game that was the new spiritual successor to Mega Man took forever to come out and it wasn't really all that great although for a beat the average it's kind of a nice inclusion since it is more of a recent release I believe it came out back in 2016 so not too old of a game finally there is a $15 tier which will get you Homefront the Revolution Saints Row 4 game of the century edition and Saints Row the third the full package you also get Saints Row get out of hell devil's workshop pack the issue with the $15 tier is that Homefront the Revolution is a pretty bad game game. Saints Row 4 is really good, but it's a lot of the sameness from Saints Row the 3rd. So if you just want to pay the $5.11, I think that's the best route to go. The $15 tier isn't bad, but the beat the average, in my opinion, is more than enough, and then you'll get those unlocks in six days. Also, there is a $75 tier, which will also unlock you Agents of Mayhem, which is the latest game from Volition, the guys that developed Saints Row. You're just essentially paying full price for Agents of Mayhem, so there you go with that. I should also mention that the Telltale Bundle is still going on, and and they've added The Wolf Among Us to the Beat the Average, which is great. They also added Jurassic Park the game, but The Wolf Among Us is the game that you need to look at. That is a terrific, terrific game. Season 2 was just announced, so now is a great time to check out that game. That's also got a bunch of other stuff, but the Beat the Average is a little high at $9.06. But still, the games that you get, I think, are well worth it. Talked about that last week, so let's just move right along. Moving on to number four, Steam has got the Naruto franchise on sale. They've got Naruto Storm 4, Naruto Storm 3 Full Burst, and Naruto Storm Revolution all on sale. Storm 4 is 66% off, Storm 3 Full Burst is 75% off, and Storm Revolution is 75% off as well. Out of these games, if you're just looking for a game to play solo, honestly, Storm 3 might be the best option. It is at $7.50. The thing about Storm 3 is that it has a really solid single player mode. Storm 4 is more of a cinematic experience where it's just a bunch of battles after battles. They're very highly produced. They even go a little off the wall from the anime and they do some crazy stuff. I would recommend to check that game out if you're interested, but if you just want one, Storm 3 might be the route to go. However, Storm 4 obviously is the newer game, has a lot more characters, finishes up the Naruto story, so that's not a bad option either. Obviously, it is a little bit more expensive and Storm Revolution, I really wouldn't check that out in my opinion that game wasn't all too good so yeah for naruto fans storm 3 or storm 4 will be really good just to make a note though if you aren't a fan of naruto and you pick up storm 3 storm 3 picks up really far into the naruto anime so you will be totally lost in terms of the story so yeah i thought i should just mention that just to be safe moving on to number three over on bundle stars they've got the killer bundle x which is only lasting for another 14 hours it's a five dollar bundle and it's got some really good games some lower key titles but it includes the flame in the Flood, Warhammer 40k, Regicide, Human Fall Flat, Sam Speedrunners from Hell, Arclash Legacy, Monochroma, Stronghold Legends, Mainlining, Pang Adventures, and Void Expand. Sorry if I pronounced any of those wrong. I obviously have not played all of those games. However, that is a great value for $5. The Flame in the Flood, I've heard really good things about, as well as Monochroma. So $5 for all those games, that's a pretty solid deal. These are a lot of lower key titles, so these are the type of games I feel like somebody might buy and then never touch so I wouldn't recommend doing that you know sometimes you just buy a bundle like this and you redeem all the codes on Steam and then you never play them but 
these are good games. Just make sure that you are going to jump in and play them. I would take a look at all of them because they are varied in terms of gameplay and design and all that kind of stuff. Very different games. And it's only $5, so I think that's a solid pickup. Moving on to number two, Just Cause 3 is 75% off on Steam, taking it down to $12.50. However, right now, it is free to play for another day and two hours as of recording this video. So I would definitely recommend to try it for free because this is a game that did have some issues at launch on PC. I remember covering this game at launch and it just wasn't running that well. I've heard things have gotten better. A multiplayer mod has just recently been released, which is kind of funny. They lined up the sale of the game and the play for free thing with that mod. Pretty clever on Square Enix's part, but nonetheless. 75% off for $12.50 is a really good deal for the game, I think. A lot of content in Just Cause 3. It's a big open world to explore. Not a very engaging story. That's not why you play this game, really. It's just to explore the world, blow things up, and have a lot of action heavy fun but when it works it's a really fun game just the issue was that sometimes it wasn't working all too well but now you can at least download it for free and check it out finally also on bundle stars they've got a bethesda sale going on right now and i want to mention the dishonored games they've got dishonored 176 percent off down to two dollars and 40 cents i believe that's the cheapest that game has been albeit just by 10 cents it has been two dollars and 50 cents during the steam sales but still two dollars and 39 cents pretty good and then dishonored 2 i think this is also a new low. It's 55% off, knocking it down to $18. It's got a new retail price of $40, so that's how you get the $18. Again, really good deal for Dishonored 2. If you haven't played the games, I would recommend, obviously, to get Dishonored 1 first and then jump into Dishonored 2. Being that, obviously, Dishonored is like an eighth of the price of Dishonored 2, and it's a really good game, and Dishonored 2 did have some issues on PC. The majority of those have been remedied. I have a video uploaded showing off the game's performance recently, and it ran really well, and it is a really good game. Dishonored 2 is better than Dishonored. It's just that Dishonored, you know, it's $2.39. Dishonored 2, a little steeper of a price at 18 bucks, but still, they're both great games, well worth the money. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you pick any of these up. As always, links are down below in the description box. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.